Hey people, what's up? My name is Art and welcome back. Oh gosh, what an interesting time we have. What a very interesting time we have and all sorts of stuff. Ah, no wonder why. Huh. The first <laughs> the first time I, tr I tried, this is the third time I tried to do this video. <laughs> And every time I, I didn't realize what was going on, and I realized, oh, yeah, I goofed. Anyway, what I want to, this is an all ages kind of video. So anybody could watch this and have no problems. Basically what it is that it's, it's all about content. And what do I mean by content? I put videos on YouTube. People, some people watch them. Content. Thing is, some people have a channel. The funny thing is, I, I have, I developed a like, not. It's kind of like, hmm. It's like communion, companionship with a lot of people with cha other channels. Because a lot of times I watch people's channel and I re reply and they reply back. Sometimes we talk on Twitter, you know, everything back and forth. Instagram maybe sometimes and maybe Facebook, who knows, anywhere. <laughs> but the thing is, is that a lot, I mean, tell you the truth, a lot of people, I watch their content. Some things I agree with, some things I don't. But then again, that's what, how life is. Now, the question is, what kind of content did I do? Well, whatever I feel like it. I don't have, I'm not, you know, some channels do one thing and one thing only. And that's great. That's great for them. Okay. I don't do that. <laughs> you know, sometimes some people, some suggestions was, you know, if you're going to talk about this, make a separate channel for it. And I'm like, mm, I thought about it. <clears throat> but here's the problem. <laughs> Are you going to subscribe to that channel? How many people are going to subscribe to this channel? How many people are going to subscribe? You know, then it's like, okay, if I have like, you know, one channel for re real life talk, kind of like what I'm doing now in real life, one channel for comic books and stuff like that, another book, another channel for this, and it's like, uh, then I got to try to make content for all three channels and it's kind of a, a lot to do for something that I, that I do this for fun <laughs> during my vacate I was on vacation like what was it a week and a half ago I was on vacation and the thing is is that uh, I filmed videos I was filming videos every day Every day, I filmed at least two to three videos a day, maybe sometimes four. And I ended up with like 20 to 30 videos. And I was like, whoa. And the fun thing is, you know, because after, after I was like, okay, at the end of the day, like at night, I upload it before I go to bed and I said, uh, and I schedule it. And the fun thing is, I looked up and I had something to be released for the next four, next month. <laughs> And I looked up, I was like, man, that is a lot of content. A lot of content. Man, that's a little bit too much content, in my opinion. In my opinion, that was a lot of content. That's way too much content. And it's like, by the time that, con you know, two weeks ago, two weeks from now, whatever video would have come out, I wouldn't even feel the same way about that video. And I'm like, uh, so I just deleted every single one of them. <laughs> I deleted every single one. Because I, I look up, it's like some of the videos I had, you know, for, before I filmed a lot of um, figure, figure reviews. And then, you know, I had about 10 videos, 10 figures of reviews. I was like, you know, that's a lot of content. I could put out a video a day, but that's not what I want to do. I don't want to spam. 
know spamming is like throwing out videos left and right. Because to me, I'm like, wow. Because the way how I look at it is like, if I threw a video every day, how many people would get a chance to watch it? How many people would get a chance to watch it? It was like, well, okay. And I look up and it's like, well, that's not me. That's not me at all. You know, like for example, some of the channels I watch, they put out a seven a, a video every day. But then again, and sometimes two days a week, sometimes every other day, three days, whatever. But then again, they get paid to do that. They got a lot of members, a lot of a lot of a lot of subscribers, like o at least over a thousand subscribers. So they're getting paid by YouTube to do this. And I can see if you're getting paid by YouTube to do videos, I can see you trying to put out as much content as possible because, you know, hey, lots of people are watching it. But for me, I, I don't do that. I was like, wow, that's a lot of content that you got to put out there. Plus, since, you know, during the pandemic, I was able to watch a lot of content with no problem because I was working from home. Now, since I since March, I've been back in the office. And the funny thing is, is that certain things I can't watch at the office. One of the reasons why, because I've talked to people from, from technically from seven in the morning to five in the afternoon, I'm talking to people constantly. That's either coworkers or clients. And you know, sometimes I might have some downtime. So, you know, what? let me watch a video. And sometimes I might have like a 10 to 15 minute downtime and I could watch a video and I could respond to it. But then I got to be very selective of what it is, because some people I watch, some of the content is considered spicy for the office. Spicy. In other words, if I hear this at the office, if someone hears this, they might take offense. And I looked up and I was like, you know, that means some people, that means some channels. I can't watch some of their videos until I get home because it's contribute it'd be considered controversial for my office. And that's not something I really want to deal with. You know, can you wear headphones? Yeah, I could, but the problem is my phone rings constantly. My phone rings constantly. So I had to keep at these clients. You know, I'm busy. So it's like, ah, there we go. You know, sometimes I, if I see a video, you know, say, for example, uh, comic book day reviews or comic book day, you know, like Wednesday is the comic book day reveals. And I will eat. I'll watch that while I'm eating my lunch. Because guess why? You know, that's safe. That's something safe for me to watch. At the end of the day, I might watch that as well because it's safe. If it's a comic, if it's like comic book related stuff, I can watch that with no problem because it's considered safe. It's safe, okay. Or if it's a toy review thing, it's safe. I can watch it because it's safe. But if it's some kind of commentary, social commentary, or you know, some things like that, it's too spicy. And I can't watch and I can't hear something that's too spicy because people at my job, some of them are kind of sensitive. Oh, my gosh. You can't hear stuff like that in the office. You can't be listening to anything like that in the oven. You know, I'm hearing stuff like this. So that's why, okay, I can't do this. So... And the thing is, and I then I have to think about the kind of content I create because people of all ages watch my channel. Now the thing is, I don't know who watches my channel, or I don't know if you see my channel. Any videos I make, unless you comment. If you comment on the video, then I say, "Oh, he watched. that person watched it." Okay, not a problem. But if you watch, but if you watch it, and I don't know who you, I don't know who it is. That's why I have to watch what I say. You know, and you know, that's great. You know, I remember some kids were in high school and I was like, you know, I could be a little bit risque with some things, but then again, I thought about it. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't because I don't know who's watching my videos. 
some of my videos did get flagged for spicy content. I might have I might let slip a word here and there, and my and my video got reported. Actually, the comic book day review videos never got reported. The mystery box video, anything that comic book related or figures or something like that, those videos never got reported. The videos that get reported is me talking by talking my nonsense or talking my viewpoints or like like I'm doing now. Those are the ones that get reported, and I had, and a lot of times I like I get an email from Facebook, uh, not Facebook, YouTube. Hey, someone reported your your content has been, has some language in it. And if you get one of those, and you like, I got one or two choices. Okay, let me watch that video again to see what what I actually said. And it's then to see to determine whether or not I'm going to, you know, challenge this or not. Sometimes I do challenge it, and sometimes, and after a couple, and then after a couple days, Facebook says, "Sorry," YouTube will say, "Hey, guess what? Yeah, we found out. We did an in-depth study, and nothing. We found nothing wrong, so you can post, and it posts as normal." And by the time that it posts, the original thought and the original feeling I had about that video is gone. The impact is gone. That's why I had to watch what I say. Because some of my videos do get flagged. I don't know if people flagging it themselves or something I said got flagged. I don't know. And that's the reason why I had to kind of watch what I say. Which is fine. Which is fine. Which is great. No, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is that, you know, right now I have no idea what I really want to do. So right now the input, input, the output of videos that's going to be on my channel is going to be, I mean, I will still, no, I'm not quitting, but it's just, I'm trying to reevaluate what I really want to do with this channel. I mean, tell you the truth, I still might do stuff as is. I mean, hell. I wanted to do a hero click. I want to do some hero click stuff. But the thing is that if I do hero click stuff, some people watch it, some people won't. And you know, sometimes I want to do this. I say, oh, look at this mystery box or this figure. And I'm like, and I look at what other videos, how they perform. Some videos perform better over time, some videos perform great at the moment. And so right now I'm going through a reevaluation period. But other than that, I'm pretty much going to film stuff as I go along. Hopefully, you know, if you feel like I said something spicy or racy or controversial, you know, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Say, hey, you know, I think what you're saying is kind of off kilter or something like that. Yeah. You know, and the thing is that, you know, if I watch it again, because in the moment, sometimes I just talk, 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 and not really pay attention to what I'm saying. Sometimes that happens. And, you know, I have no problems retracting something or admitting I was wrong or saying I'm sorry. For, I have no problems doing that. But other than that, you know, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, like I said, you know, hey, with, all, with that being said, I'm going to be, that's enough for today. And I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my day. Talk to you later.